Hello everybody, today we're gonna replace a wheel on Airbus A320, so let's do it! So first thing first, we need to pull the CBs for uh, the brake fronts. We work on the left leg, which means brake fan number one and number two. And of course, brake fan control we need to pull as well. So both CBs are secured <clears throat> and we can go down. For jacking of the, of the airplane, we'll use uh, pressure from the wheel and that will gonna help us to raise the jack. Okay, first of all, we need to remove the cover from the brake fan. Uh, you have different type of the brake fans. Uh, this one has only uh, screws. There are no uh, safety washers, which is much easier to remove. Four screws hold the grid and basically this section in the middle that's uh, the part which is connected to the wheel and with that the wheel rotates and that is connected to this spline and that's part of the tachometer and uh, why do you actually need a tachometer on the airplane well uh, it's uh, really simple no we don't uh, yes we need to we need it for measuring of the speed but but the real reason for it is that if the wheels are rotating or if they are skidding and now that is your answer this is part of anti-skid uh, system so once the wheel stopped and the other wheel is rotating uh, you know that this this wheel is sliding is skidding and basically that, thanks to that it will release the pressure from the brake so the wheel can start rotate again and once it starts rotating uh, the pressure can be applied again so that's the reason why we have tachometer inside two more bolts and this should let us to remove the cover this cover as you can see uh, dr uh, leads the air towards the fan so it sucks the hot air from the brake uh, compartment and it, it, it releases it overboard and this duct actually helps to lead it towards the fan so the brake fan is more efficient now uh, the brake fan the impeller itself so for that we need a cutter so. And for the brake, the, for the propeller of the brake fan, you need to have this nice tool, which will help you to hold it on the place. And like that, you can really easily remove the, the propeller and then by rotating the propeller, you are basically losing the nut. So, and nut is secure on it uh, next to the clip the impeller will never really separate from the uh, from the nut <laughs> now we need to remove the clamp which is basically support for the brake fan cover and next to that uh, the cover is uh, connected to the wheel so it spins with the wheel and uh, that way you get accurate readout of the rotation uh, you have exact spot where you need to install it there is a pin which uh, 
and on the wheel you have only one of this pin so it will sit only one way there is no other possibility now the cutter pins this is quite funny uh, the Airbus choose to have a dual safety because you have a uh, uh, self-locking nuts on those bolts and they're secured with a cutter pin as well which is uh, really interesting now the bolts and the nuts which hold the wheel for sure you're not gonna see it on the old one but the nuts has inside a plastic section which is actually responsible for that locking function so every time you need to install the new ones because uh, you basically destroy the plastic so we'll install the new one after that wheel is uh, good to be removed so we will start with the nut for that we're gonna need a special key with several tools so that it sits exactly on the nut and you have enough space uh, so you will not gonna damage uh, the shaft from the tachometer Since we have a brake, brake fans installed, uh, we have a lot of uh, carbon here around because brake fans suck the air with the uh, with that carbon dust towards the fan. So the buildup is because of that. Okay, nut is out. Now protector. On the place and now basically we can remove the wheel so since wheel is out we need to clean the sleeve that's uh, one of the thing uh, we need to inspect it if there are no cracks if there is uh, no damages scratches on it that's uh, one of the inspections and then as well you need to inspect the rotors if there is no oxidation so all this uh you can do during wheel replace or oh, all this you need to do during wheel replacement so you will check the whole circumference of the brake if everything is okay then you will inspect uh, <coughs> this the sleeve uh, of course you need to remove the protection you need to be sure that if the ring is in the correct position uh, and if you don't see any damage uh, we need to apply uh, new grease on the sleeve and as well we need to apply never seize on the spline of the tachometer so now we apply new grease on the sleeve. Now a uh, bit of the never seize on the splines. And we can install the protector back. Protector out. So the nut. Okay, so now we can 
turn the wheel for the first time. Now we need to hold the wheel. We need to lose it gradually. So second torque without movement. So and this will gonna let the wheel and bearing sit. Now we go to final. Final torque. Super. And this is a brand new nut. And as you can see, the plastic inside is untouched. And basically thanks to that, it will sit on the bolt and yeah, it will secure it. But uh, we have still the second uh, part of protection, which is actually the, if it catch, the cocker pin. So let's install the new bolt. Here you can see uh, the axle and the nut and the hole is actually aligned so the screw will goes in or the bolt will goes in same on the other side and this way we're gonna secure the nut on the place so it will not gonna move let's start the nuts washer the other one Bottom hold and cutter pins. Our dual safety feature. The main nut is secured. We can continue, which means that we can install the support. So again, we'll find a hole, which is over here, we'll find a pin, which is over there, and I'll put it on the place. And like on every clamp, plastic hammer to let it sit. Perfect, that's what we want. We can install the cover. Has exact spot. Now two screws which hold the cover and as always when I want to say something my colleagues are switching on the AP. So we align the brake fan, we install the nut on it and why not engine blowout Yes, the nut sits. So that's about it. Now we need to secure it with lock wire. Okay, and now Right, so brake fan secured. Now we can install the cover. And 
Okay, so this is installed. Now we need to fill it to required pressure and then we can drop the wheel. So let's inflate it to proper pressure. I see you. <laughs> okay, we are in required pressure. Thank you very much. So quick look under the wheel. All good. And yeah, nothing is blocked, so we can go down. Right. Okay, let's wake up the airplane. We can close CBs. And yeah, we'll wait until the airplane wake up and then we'll make a test. So let's give our colleague uh, info that we're gonna switch on the brake fan. And there we go. That's it, we can switch off the airplane. So, this is more or less it about wheel change on A320. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below. Uh, if you have uh, similar ideas for the videos, just write them down and I will see what I can do. Big thanks Austrian Airlines that they let me do this so I can show you how it looks uh, during night. And also big thanks to each and everybody of you for watching my videos. That's all from my side. My name is Tomáš, this was Aircraft Maintenance with Zeto. And I will see you on next video. Bye.